Hey, what's up guys? Everything Apple Pro here, and Apple has released iOS 11.4 Developer Beta 1. They talked about this firmware update that it'd be coming in the future at their March 27th event, and today we finally get to take a look at that. So let's see what's new, what's changed, and Apple did give us a little previews of what's to come, but uh, on the iPhone side, they didn't mention anything. So let's see what changed. Now, uh, this is a pretty significant update in terms of the number. It goes from 0.3 to 0.4, so you'd expect it to have a lot inside, like iOS 11.3 had a ton of changes yet i've been combing over it for quite some time now and there is not much to find let me tell you now first off before updating i had 42.01 gigabytes of storage after 42.02 so no difference here you know i thought there would be a storage change really nothing i went through uh, try to find any new features related to 3d touch in the menus just like anything and everything that I usually do, and I could not find much. There are a few reported changes, and uh, the first one being that AirPlay 2 is back, both in the tvOS firmware and in iOS 11.4. So you'll now be able to uh, finally uh, use multi-room support once again, but who knows, Apple may remove this feature once again, because they actually took this out of iOS 11.3 before the final release. For whatever reason, it's kind of strange. So multi-room support with AirPlay 2 is finally back, and the stereo pairing support for the home pods is now back so within the home app there is now reference to it again you can do it uh, it's unknown for sure if it works yet i wasn't able to get it to work so i'm not sure uh, if others are but if it is i'll let you guys know in the future so stereo pairing in some format is back at least and iMessages on the cloud are enabled once again so you do get that toggle within your iCloud settings it is back and there was another feature that was removed in the final of ios 11.3 so apple did bring it back for 11.4 again unknown if it'll stay for the duration of this firmware and then uh, be removed at the very end, who knows. So that's pretty much it for the features. Uh, really not much else, no settings, no changes. I tried, I looked for like what, 45 minutes at least, nothing. Anyways guys, so uh, that's it for the features. Let's go ahead and test out the speed, see if there's any difference. And I've just been hearing from so many people that iOS 11.3 did wonders to their devices, both in battery life, in speed, just the responsiveness has been surreal. So that's been great. And I don't think 11.4 has much to improve upon maybe like bugs and stuff like that but as for speed apple has that stuff on lockdown so anyways let's see what sort of numbers we get regardless on 11.4 and here are the results this is pretty much what we can expect more on the high end on the last iOS 11.3 firmware, pretty much the same score, so not much of a difference here. The speed definitely remains, but the features are not there. Maybe Apple will add some in the future, but as for the features that Apple did talk about adding, that was the class kit support with a new schoolwork application for teachers for managing students on the iPad, and that has not yet been seen in this new beta, so those may be added in the future along with new features. I'll definitely keep you guys updated as for any new features in the future, but for now, really not much to go on. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Peace.